Jakarta is notorious for terrible traffic, flooding, and poor city planning. But by 2045, Indonesia's capital could look like this. Nusantara, the capital in East Kalimantan province, is being touted as a bustling future metropolis with lush forest surroundings, electric vehicles, and promising buildings. But why are they moving 1,200 kilometers from Jakarta to a remote location? President Joko Widodo hopes that if people relocate, it would ease the development pressure on Jakarta. Sounds like a good plan, right? But the local tribes are upset because the construction affects their land. Many are families, and they are worried it might destroy their livelihoods. The government's promising them compensation and upskilling courses so they can fit into this new digital capital. But many locals worry about competing with educated city folk. Apakah itu kan tukang nyari uban nyamuk, tukang sapu, tukang cuci piring itu. Kalau kan bilang suhu kami dapat parah, kalau kami kalau seperti itu, tidak mungkin yang pegawai yang dibutuhkan pemerintah S1, S2. There are environmental worries too. Rivers and wildlife habitats could be in trouble. Sand mining has damaged hills and coastal areas elsewhere. Still, Project Nusantara is going full steam ahead. Will this new capital reduce some of Indonesia's problems, or will it just create more?